Hey, hi YouTube, welcome to my fourth video in this place of videos. Uh, this video I'm going to be talking about how to add and take away thirds. So essentially adding and take away, it's the same sort of methodology of doing it. However, doing it's uh, considerably different to uh, in the previous video when we multiplied third. You can't simply just add these together. You can't add the 8 and 18 and the 3 and the, sort of the imaginary 1 here. What we have to do, sorry, sorry about that. What we have to do is um, make sure that the radicand, these two numbers here, are the same. So I don't know if you have any experience of adding, adding fractions. Let's do this aside here. But when you add fractions, you have to make sure the the, the denominator is the same. So to make sure the, the, the denominator is the same, you have to uh, you have to manip manipulate them so that the denominator is the same value but that they still equal the same the, the value of a fraction so that's sort of the similar methodology of what you have to do when you're adding and subtracting thirds what you have to do is you have to simplify it down so that the two radicands here, the 8 and the 18 are the same so, first, what we have to do is find some fra f uh, factors which both the 8 and the 18 in. Uh, we've got some, we've got 2, well, the simplest one we've got is 2, really. The 2 can be multiplied into the 8 and multiplied into the 18. So, what that suggests is that we're going to have to mani manipulate the, um, the third here, so that we have a square root of 2 multiplied by something else. Um, to do this we have to obviously have to simplify it. Uh, so if you're not sure about simplifying thirds, I'd recommend watching my first and second video where I go through that. So anyway, let's start with uh, the, the first thing here, we've got the 3 and the, the, three and the, the 8. Well, I'm going to have to split it down so that the sort of the excess number the number which I have to find a number which is a square number and also a number which is 2 and that's quite handy, I've got the 4 and the 2 here I've got the 4 here which is a square number and I've got the 2 which is almost the excess number and the excess number is the number we put back into the square root so that's why I have to try and get it to a 2 so, like before, we took our square number and square rooted it so you get a 2. And then we take that and put it to the outside of our third. And we multiply it. So we have 2, sorry, 6. Remember, if we just have it, it's like on this one here, we have an imaginary 1 here. We're multiplying it. So instead of multiplying by 1, we're multiplying by 3 to get 6. Yeah, it's not very clear, but that's a 6 there. And then we have our 2 left over, which makes the 3 square root 8 the same as 6 square root 2. And now we've got 18. And you can see it's not always going to work adding thirds. However, when using this method, you're going to have to find, you can only really add thirds which share a sort of a common factor. And the common factor here is the 2. So anyway, two numbers which are factors. We've got 2 and a 9. So you can see it's a rather simple example. We've got a square root here, which is, which is the 9. And then that, the square root of 9 is going to be 3. So we've got 3 and 3 here. The 3 goes to the end and multiplies by this imaginary 1 to get 3 and then we've got a 2 remaining which goes in the inside of the square root sorry that's a 2 so I expect you can see what's going to happen next because the third, the radicands here are the same value we can just add, add them together so if the 6 and the 3 is the 9 
and then we put the two here. And you see we don't add the two the twos together. We keep the twos the same. It's like when doing fractions we if we add a quarter and a quarter, it doesn't make it two eighths. We just add the the, the numerator at the top. That's just an example. So anyway, I'm going to be doing some more examples on how to do this. It's a similar method, sorry, I should mention subtraction. If we're going to make the subtraction, we literally just take it away. So it'll be 6 square root 2, take away 3 square root 2, equals 3 square root 2. So it's pretty much the same for adding and subtraction, it's that initial thing uh, guessing the two radicands which are the same, which is the hard hard part of when you're adding and subtracting thirds. So I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, be sure to keep your eyes out for future videos in this playlist. I'm going to be coming, going into sort of more in depth about thirds and some more uh, advanced examples. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, goodbye.